I go live. Oh, there you are. I guess I am there. <laughs> and we are live, guys. Are we? We are live on the computer, on the laptop, trying new things. We're like more close and personal on this one. I yeah, well. Do you I'm like it? <laughs> do, you, do you want me to go this way or this way? Bit. Yeah, there we go. No, no, that way. This way. I'm demanding. Like there that? you go. That's it. We're better there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I like it. I like that better. So today we have a great show for you guys. Um, we're doing. We're gonna do some pipe trivia. We're gonna smoke some gifts that someone sent me. Really cool. And we'll just have fun. So I'm gonna start with this um, while people get here. Uh, let's see if someone is coming on live. We'll fix this. All right. I'm trying to find it to be quite honest. All right, let's see. Let's see if we're live. Let's make sure we're live before we start this. Because I don't see anything. It says two viewers. It's the two of us. <laughs> oh, look, we're live. You look, you see? That, but I can't see it in my Yeah, P.O. Henriksen is here. So, yeah, we are live. Hi. Hello, you're the first one. You are the first contestant on The Price is Right. <laughs> The, the pipe is right. The that's gonna, right. That's the gonna, pipe is right. Yeah. Today, <laughs> today is going to be about the pipe. P.O. Henriksen, do you know a lot about pipe shapes? Because that's what the trivia is going to be today. You think you're ready for some trivia? Yeah, these people are super fast. I don't know. Well, I, this is going to be very competitive, competitive I think. Because this, you guys should know Sm all this. Yeah, Smarty Bob is in the house. Hello. Hi, Smarty Bob. Um, well, you, you said something and then and I was about to say something. And I interrupted and you lost your track. <laughs> and you know, I'm old, so I lose my track. That's very easy. <laughs> Smarty Bob is number two. And P.O. Henderson says, no, well, you will learn. You will learn definitely. Uh, in well, trivia, you either know the answer or you learn. Yeah, right? Well, I'm on the same boat. I know, I know a few of the answers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Extra Pine Podcast. Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Can you guys hear us okay? I'm trying this laptop thing. We're trying different things. Yeah, this is kind of odd. I know. You, you see if, each other like this more. I know. It's, it's kind of <laughs> weird. So I don't know how much you guys see. You might see a lot more than what we see. Well, it looks like they see about the same. Oh, okay. Cool. Maybe a little more on the bottom and that's about it. All yeah. right. All right. I can see any Sweden. Other Greetings from Sweden. And drop. Oh, we have our first wrench here. Dropware Woodworks. Glenn is here with us. Hey, Glenn. Loud and clear. Oh, you're gonna, is in the house. You're gonna do a quick flyby, and then you're leaving. Oh man, Johnny's here. Our our trivia master. Johnny. <laughs> He's got this. <laughs> And Citizen Tom is here. And Dan, Dan Freeman is here. And he's ready for trivia. All right, Dan. Piper on the 45 is here. Who, who else did I miss? Am I missing? Ohio Piper, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I'm doing attendance. <laughs> <laughs> In attendance. We're taking attendance. <laughs> taking attendance today. That's awesome. That is awesome. So guys, since we have enough here, I'm going to tell you that we got a package sent. Uh, we received a package okay. from Mark, from TPI, uh, uh, Tobacco Pipes International. And he wanted us to try, since we love early morning pipe, he wanted us to try the Dunhill version with some age. So this is from 2018. So okay. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to pop the tin and we're going to have some of this while we have fun with you guys. Um, if I like the the newer one, I'm sure this one with some age is going to be amazing. Any other early morning pipe um, fans here? Who else is here? Chip. Hello, Chip. Hey, Chip. Attendance. <laughs> hey, Rafael. And it neat? <laughs> I... Yeah, taking my son to a special in about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's okay, Glenn. Well, uh, I'm glad you came by and say hi. And uh, you can see it later on the replay. And, and uh and play along, you know, like like when you play Jeopardy, where it doesn't count, but you're playing along while listening to them. 
That works. I got that one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't count, but I got it. Donald <laughs> is here. All hey, right. Hey, Donald. Okay. Donald can't really make it. Oh, he's on holy time. Howdy from so holy time. Holly, uh, his wife, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. But oh, his wife is named Holly. I'm like, he's uh, in church? <laughs> Cat, that Piper, Cosmo, are you ready for some trivia? Ooh, Cosmo! Yeah. Man, I can't wait. So we're opening up. What's the difference between the newer version and that version? Did they change anything or, or it's just that so, that one has aged a little bit? Well, yeah, now that's the difference. But this was just another company and they, you know, they stopped oh. doing the tobaccos and then Peterson took it over. They, oh, yeah. they kept the same yeah. in, ingredient, uh, recipe. And of course, because this is older than it has some age. So this has at oh. least three years of, of age on it. So definitely looking forward to it. Cosmos in the house. All right. Oh, Tommy smoking nightcap. Ah, that's oh. that's the other Dunhill blend that people like. That one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a name change. So we're gonna try this. If you notice something, because you've been smoking some early morning pipe. If you need so notice something between that one and this one, here you go. And we'll put some in here. It smells about the same. <laughs> so you see, Donald says, Holly is my Enid if I was Raphael. So. Okay. I was like, he's in church. Paul. <laughs> Hello, Paul. You want me to break this? I've yeah. seen you in a little bit. Thanks for joining us again. Hey, Paul. Attendance. Yeah. So, Paul, we are about to do some trivia in a little bit. We have 15 in the house. I'm getting some uh, Dun Dunhill uh, early morning pipe with some age on it ready. That was sent by Mark from the Pack of Tobacco Pipes International. What else did Mark send? He sent something really cool for he you. He did. He Yes. You gotta I show him. I was them. so excited. It was my first gift. Not from you. I think that probably is my first gift or my first pipe that someone has gifted me. And I was so tickled pink. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Holy goodness, look at that. That was okay. sent by Mark, and it is such a cool little pipe, and it, it has a red dot on it. It has a little red dot for, oh, wait a minute, this way. <laughs> yeah. This is so confusing here. So you know, it is. I'm going to try this one yeah. today, Okay. and I'm going to show them the little temper. I, the temper probably was not for me, but I took it. Well, there's two of them. There were two of them, and I said I took the smallest. Look at this little cute. So those are tempers. Donald, you would like those. It is like a... Uh, what is it? A tobacco? Is that like cigar? Cigar. Yeah. It looks like a cigar. Isn't so it cute? He, he made some big ones and some small ones. And um, thank you so much. So guys, uh, head over to TPI Tobacco Pipes International. Mark, he's making some really cool tampers. I mean, this is just the coolest thing to be like a like a cigar, <laughs> and and small ones and big ones. It's about the size difference here in them. But pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. I'm going to read his note. I'm, you want to read his note? Okay. Yes. It yeah. says, well, if I mess up, let me know. All right. It says, hi, Raphael. I love this. Uh, I hope this finds you and Lady Fire well. I added in some TPI tampers. We love them. And a pipe I received from Brian. Is it Quilty? Yeah. Quilty. I restore the pipe. So he fixed it. Um, but it's uh, too small for me. So I thought Lady Fire may like it. Lady Fire liked it. Yes, she really uh, liked it. P.S. She's... Enjoy, my friend. Mark, a.k.a. PPI. Thank, thank you, Mark, you, again. Mark. Thank you, uh, thank we you. We really appreciate it. She's going to put it to use right away. Right away. All right. Who else? Sharon's in the house. Hello, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Oh, they were, this one didn't work. No. You, my you, car went in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> my car got into it. <laughs> you yeah you know what they look such like a cigar that it does it's like you you know like this. you could smoke them and and I think you know people will believe it yeah listen well, there's camera no smoke coming out though I know but just yes, a picture you know I don't yeah, know a picture that's they're just super cool they're super cool yes. I think it's the coolest thing and uh, the large one works great for this I'm gonna smoke this uh one of my newest pipes here this uh, reverse calabash um that i got at the at the pipe show at the ohio pipe show all right 
Let me light it up. And I'm we'll, gonna try the one more. We'll get started with the trivia. All right, Glenn. Thank you. Thank, thanks for dropping by for a little bit, and we will we'll get this trivia started in a second. Well, let's wait until maybe. Mm -mm. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use this. We got the fans going hard. I'm gonna use this one. For the trivia, would you have, would you please hook me up here? Uh -huh. Because I can't get this one to go to the to the light. Well, this one. Where you wanna be on this one? Doesn't matter. So okay. If I see the comments. I'm good. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm I'll making a mess, you guys. I hook you up. So you know what? It is Wednesday. Uh huh. Hop day. Woo! Woo <laughs> I mean, we are almost there. To us, it's a Friday because we are leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow for the Richmond Pipe Show. So, yes. You we, still have to do some packing, my love. I still have to pack what I'm going to wear. I'm so tired. I know what I'm going to wear Saturday. But you know what? Just wear the same thing all day, every day. Well, you know what I'm going to wear cares? Saturday? Can you take a guess what I'm wearing Saturday? A bikini. No, it's not a it's not a pool pipe show. <laughs> it's a tanga. <laughs> not a tanga either. <laughs> no, nope, no. Uh, your Superman outfit. No, 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 none of that. It's, uh, it's easier than that. It's easier. Than what happens on Saturday? A t-shirt and some shorts. <laughs> no, what happens on Saturday? I'm gonna be at the pipe show. I can't be in t-shirts and shorts. Oh. I'm gonna be there with you, recording live. Would you wanna wear a, a shirt and some pants? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing gator stuff because the gators Are you play. Serious? Yes. You didn't know that. <laughs> Is this news to you? <laughs> it, I thought it was the following Saturday. No. Do they play two Saturdays back to back? They play every Saturday except you one. You know, I should start watching the Saturdays at 9 a.m. Uh, football. Uh, what is it? What, what, what I do? What is? Yeah, what you do? Pipe, on Saturday. pipe and predictions, college football, pipe and predictions. I've been missing how can I stay asleep. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm just going to sleep. Gators, you see, Johnny guessed it. I did not know. <laughs> if there's a tie, Johnny Johnny has a, a half a point there I, for guess he was going to wear. I know. <laughs> so uh, while, while we wait to start the trivia, I was going to say that. Um, I'm going to use yours. Yeah, we have 20, so we can start anytime. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Saturday, I told you guys that because I'm going to be at the pipe show, I'm going to pre-record the college thing, and then I'm going to do like we do on Popping the Tin, where I'll be uh, live chatting with you guys oh. while while the show goes on. I that know. way, we don't miss out on talking a little bit about football. I just won't be able to do it live because I'll be at the pipe show. So I'll do that with you guys, and then I'll run to the pipe show real quick. Hello, Rusty. So before we start the trivia, I'm going to go on. Remember, this is a, an ongoing score for, for three trivias in a row. So um, we decided we'll do that. The first winner was Johnny. That was just our first trivia. So that was our he, practice. Yeah, he got the prize, and, and, and that one's done. And then after that, we started from zero. And the first one was the music. And we have almost a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost an 11 way tie. But Eden, Eden is, is ahead so far with two points. Whoa! And then we have scored. we have a tie of one point. ENA's dad, Greg, Tunnel Take, Pipe Grump, Everett, Matthew, Picking and Piping, Walter, uh, WKR Piper, Boris, Johnny, and Rusty. All of you guys are tied with one point so far in second place. So Coach Brian Kelly wore some Gatorade last Sunday. <laughs> that that the Irish, let me tell you, they there's definitely luck in the Irish for sure. If you guys saw that game, I have no idea how it was 13 to 10 on the fourth quarter, and all of a sudden they return a kick for a for a touchdown. They get interceptions and ended up being a blow up. So very surprised by that, but you know what? They deserve to win. Wisconsin ran out of gas completely. There's WKR Piper. Hey! Yeah, we say your name. 
So, eh, there's Tono Tech. There's Greg. I think we have some other players from last week already here. Oh, cool. What is an open game? The only person that has two points is, is Eden. Everybody else is tied at one. So, so today it's going to be um, all the questions Those have to do about pipe. Subject. Yeah, all the questions have to do about pipe. There's no way you guys don't know this. You guys are going to start getting it once we ask, we ask the question. It's going to be sort of like Jeopardy where... Um, the question might have to do something with the name of the pipe, and then, and then you just have to name it according to what we say. So you'll get it after a few questions. You'll see. It's it's not gonna be too hard. Hopefully, it'll be fun. This is anybody knows the original name, name for, for Gatorade. Gatorade. Tell us, what's it? Is this is clue. this for real? Or is this a joke? I know it was. I'm it gonna was... fail that one. <laughs> Tell us, what was the original name for Gatorade? Water. No, no, but they, they are developed right there in Gainesville. It's, it's, it's a true story. It was actually for the football team, for the Gators, and that's why they named it Gatorade. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's a true story. Now, that if, makes sense. if they had another name before that, I have no idea. So Rusty might tell us. Tell us, Rusty. Red says Kool Aid. I don't think so, but Kool Aid. No, <laughs> that's not it. That was bad, though. No, I, I like Kool Aid, though. Oh man, did I drink a lot of Kool Aid? And I drank a lot of what was that other one? The one that uh, that was orange that you would mix. Tang. Tang. Yeah. Tang. T A N G. Tang. I drank a lot of Tang. Oh, oh. my God! Back in the day. Um, mm -mm. We, oh, didn't, we didn't have that many choices. It was tang. It just it, it was just sugar. It, it was cheap and, and orange. So you could get a lot. I drank a lot of get tang. some orange juice, boy. I like that tang. I'm trying to look to see where that came from. So for sure, and I know it was developed to bring more electrolytes to the football players, and that's why they call it Gator. Oh, you see, Matthew loves tang. He does. Oh yeah. Now I feel like drinking some tang. Oh, Lord. I'm sure. I haven't seen it in the store, but I'm sure they make it. They mm -hmm. still sell it. You see, they say they still sell it. They still make it. All about that tang. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to have tang for my birthday. How about that? Let's do that. Let's make a lot of tang. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm going to buy it. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, I'll have time I for have, I have a lot of stuff going on on your but, but we haven't we haven't the drinks covered yet, right? He's trying to kill me. Drinks? But you know what I have? Uh-huh. That ginormous thing for the, the games, the real stuff. What is it? Is that a drink? No, it's not. Well, you put the drinks in oh, the water and you yeah. put, pour we'll, it on top of people. We'll fill it up with tang. We'll there you go. We'll fill it up with tang. That we can do. Quench was a sheep Gatorade. Put some vodka in the tang. Hmm. Well, I don't know if because if it, I, I put vodka I'm, on that thing, I am not gonna make it. I'm gonna have my parents here <laughs> and my mom and my kids. That's gonna be in, in the pool, so that would be interesting if we slip a little bit of vodka. Where in the are tank. the hosts? <laughs> They're missing in action. <laughs> They're drunk. All right, are we ready? Are you ready to ask to ask some questions? I am ready. I'm not ready with this. It just keeps. Turning off, but you, you want know me what? to help you? you I'm gonna put it on we, the side. We do have a lot of here. Oh, yeah, the you want to put it going. in here? Here, I'll put it in your thing here. I'm just gonna switch, do a switch over I'll, here. I'll keep I working with mine thing. here. All so right, guys, are you ready? All right, if at any time you can't listen very well, let us know. But we're gonna do some trivia, pipe trivia. Yes. I actually, uh, we called it name that pipe, or I did, but maybe one or two questions is pipe related. <laughs> so don't hang me for that. I said, hey, that's not a pipe. So, so uh, maybe one or so, two may not be a pipe. So some people are already answering. Say, what? Uh, yeah. And for the first question, somebody said the answer is Savinelli. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? You hate that thing, don't you? I dislike you, it a you, little bit. Dislike you, it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start. All right, go ahead. All right, guys, now yeah, is where pay, it starts. Pay attention. All right, go. This pipe is made from a South 
African Gourd and a Mersham Lightning. Somebody get it. Come on. You guys know this. You don't answer. All right. Let us know if you need us to read it again. Ooh, Pipe Crumb got it. Calabash. He well, was pretty fast. You're supposed to. There you go. So we got Calabash. Where's my? Oh, everybody got it, but not as fast. So okay. we'll put here Pipe Trivia. Pipe, uh, pipe Crumb. And I'm going to put one for Pipe Crumb over here mm -hmm. on this calm. Calabash All right. was right. You have. You're now tied with Eden for the overall lead. Oh, Good okay. job. Okay. Everybody. Well, we have. Hey, Chad. Chad is in the house. We have a moderator now. Hello, Chad. Yeah, a bunch of calabash, calabash, calabash. Calabash. All they, right. I'm telling you, they know this. This is too easy. Well, I knew that's okay. Be. That's all right. But you know, some people may not, and, mm -hmm. and they might. They, this they may, might this may be good. This one may get you. All right. I'm going to put number two. So after I put the number here. Whatever is below, that's what counts. All, All right. right, here we go. Go. What is Mersham? Mersham. All right. Mersham. So, not what the word means, but what is? What is it? What is Mersham? What is actually Mersham? What is Mersham? This one is a good one. So they're no. gonna they're gonna have to Google this one. All right. Uh, no, sea foam is a no. So a bleach, we're getting a bunch of sea, sea foam, and Don't. that's what it means, the word. But it actually, we have the right answer. Citizens Tom said it. It is shell fossils. But actually, it's fossilized. Fossilized shell. shells. Yeah, well, that works. Yeah. So we're going to. Tom gets it. Well, for Tom. Very good. Tom, you are now in the, in the scoreboard here. All right. Very good. Number three. Number three. Which pipe shape shares its name with a popular pub game? I think Pipe, pipe Grump uh, has had this question. So this All right, before. that's okay, Pipe Grump. Thanks for your honesty. Okay, so one says poker, poker, bulldog. So it's, uh, it's a pub game. Which, which pipe shape shares its name with a popular pub game? So think of, I'm going to give you a hint. Think of a bar, pub or a bar. Oh! Jose go Piper got it. Biller, billiard, 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 billiard shape. That's another word for pool. That went for him, yeah. Okay, do we see here? Let's see. Jose, no, he's he, he's he starts on the on the list here. He's in the board. All right. Number. Four. Wait, wait, wait until I put number four so that because there's gonna be a lot of delayed answers. Yeah, if you're, if you're seeing this in your phone, you can tap on the right side of the screen and, uh, and you'll fast forward. And so on some laptops, you can always fast forward. That way you're, you're not delayed. Try to do that now. All right, and this is gonna be number four. Oh Question my God, number. you said that number four. <laughs> Question. <laughs> we should have a little thing that says number, number four. four. All right. Let me know when you're ready. When, when, it, when it pops up there, or on yours, and it says number four. Okay, got it. Yours is popped up? Yep, All it right. is. There you go. Okay, number four. This pipe share its name with an English port. Mm -hmm. A pipe that shares its name with an English port. Mm -hmm. They're Googling, they're Googling. I'm not getting or. It's a delayed. There you Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Citizen Tom got it. Liverpool. Very good. Tom, you are now tied with Eden from the last game All with right. two. You're winning on this one. All right. Give, give it a chance for people to, to say. It's going to be a few oh, saying Liverpool. Yeah, I'm going to wait for you. And to then I'm going to do number five. 
pipe ground is there if there's any of these questions that you have not seen you can go ahead and, and answer but i understand if you've seen this trivia before to recluse yourself because it wouldn't be fair you would know all of the answers really quick but again if you if if you wanna you don't know sure and you want to guess at one of these feel free i trust you all right number five You know them all? Okay. He knows everything. <laughs> all right. Then, then don't participate. Don't participate. All right. All okay. right. Here we go. Number five. Although this pipe never hosted a 1960 and hippie music festival, it does have the same name as one. This was one of the shapes that I, that I actually have to look up to see what it is. I'm going to give a... Oh, is it that they were all asked last week? What? Oh, was did somebody ask them on a live last week? Is that why? So for a bonus, uh, James got it right. Woodstock. There you go. He got it. So was it James? Was it in a live? Another live? That somebody? I guess, I'm guessing not everybody knows the question, the answers, because we're getting some different ones. But yeah. So for a bonus question here, what's another name for that Woodstock pipe? Or what does it resemble? Does anybody know what common shape does that Woodstock pipe resemble? Resembles. And actually some people, you know, they uh, name it. They could be Woodstock or this other name. James did it. J James said that it was on his life. He did it. Oh, James, okay. That's why. So whoever was on James' live, Probably knows all the answers of these. All right, so the bonus question here. So you guys got it right, Woodstock. What other shape is same as Woodstock? What's another name for this shape? Or if someone can describe the shape. <laughs> James said he won't answer no more. All yeah. right, all right. No answer no more, James, then. So who knows that for a bonus? Point. Who knows what shape this is? Woodstock. Internet looks. See who can find it. They, they should not know that. James, you can participate on that one. <laughs> well, he he might he might know, he if, might know if, if he did the answers. Oh, yeah, he might he true. might know what that's what true. that is. I give you guys a hint. Uh, this shape, this pipe shape, the Beatles. <laughs> Horn, very close to the horn there, uh, Cosmo. It's, it's, it's canted forward. It's another shape that is canted forward. And it's actually more well known than Woodstock. Woodstock is not very well known, that shape at all. It starts with a CH, I think. No, no, it doesn't start with a CH. There you go, Tom. Way to go, Tom. Tom got it. Zulu. It's the same shape now as the Zulu. The Woodstock. All Ooh, right, Tom. Give him a point. There we go. All right, guys. So just as on an honor system, if you guys were in James Tumble Live and you know the answers to all these questions, I wasn't at the live, so of course I didn't know. Uh, just, just, yeah, let, let other people participate. That would be kind of fair. All right. A bunch of Zulus. All right. Number six. All right. Number six. Well, this is easy. Which pipe has a royal name? Which pipe has a royal name? Mine is a little delayed, so you may have to go look there. I think the most delayed one is this one. Oh, really? Okay. Tom, Citizen Tom has it. Tom is, Tom is the winner Friends. again. Now, Tom, were you were you at James Lives? If you wait, wait, we'll believe you if, if you say no. What's that? Prince, yeah, that is the that, that is, is it. That, that is, is it. that is the answer. All right, next. This pipe gets its name from a breed of dog. I think the one that wins is going to be whoever's quickest on the fingers. I know. Or whoever went to Johnny's. 
No, I think they're honest enough. Yeah, Tom said he he had Johnny. Johnny's on the board. Bulldog. Way to go, Johnny. Oh, well, I don't have it here. Somebody said Bane. No. Yeah, Bane. <laughs> All right, Walter. Hello, Walter. Hi, who else, Walter. Who else came in that we haven't seen? We'll give him no, a little bit of a chance to clear the board. Okay. All right, guys. Next. What you got? Do number eight? Yep. Okay. Among five aficionados, which country is known for its free hand carvers? Free hand carvers. Mm -hmm. I see nothing. Who was the what? Who was the first with the dog? Who was first with bulldog? Um, yeah. Let's see. I think it was Johnny. Johnny. And there's a delay. So whoever comes on our screen, that's who we're gonna have to go with. So it was Johnny first, and Greg, you were second mm -hmm. there. Okay. Johnny so got it again. No, no, wait, wait. Hold on. Smarty Bob. I think he, wait a minute. Here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Got it. Got it. Johnny. Got got it. It again. Johnny's on the board. All right. Tom's still in the lead. Johnny is in second place. You might find this pipe in the United Nations. Hello, DDT. Hi. Attendance. So a name of a pipe that has to do with the United Nation. Nations. Again, just think of kind of a Jeopardy kind of thing. Hmm, it is good. Yeah, I wish mine would have kept going, but it didn't. It just stopped. Canadian. Good guess, but that's not what we have. Oh, Jardism got it. Diplomat. All right, Chad is on the board. Go, Chad. I don't know what Tunnel Tate was saying. I don't know what Greg was saying. Is it was cedar? In international pipe, a cedar, <laughs> a <laughs> diplomat. Yeah, it was diplomat. It was. All right. All right, so number 10. Number 10. Number 10. A pipe dedicated to the South African general of the Boer War and later president, I think it's this Kruger. Kruger. A pipe. Dedicated to the South African general of the Boer War and later president Kruger. What's it called? It's not called Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo. Sulu Boo. DDT is on the board. Yay! Umpa. And I think I that's one of the shapes I don't own. Don't have that. No. And so that's one of the ones I be look I might be looking on the show to add to my collection. If Yay. I find one that I like, of course. But I mean write DDT here and uh all right. Let all me right. know when you want me to Let's wait until it clears for a little bit. Dan, okay. hello, Dan. Nice for you to join us. Hi, Dan. And go on to the next one. Go ahead. Well, I wish I. Okay, you may you might see this one in the rectory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not so surprised <laughs> they haven't taken advantage of that and do some kind of oompa loompa dippity do. <laughs> we got some You gonna hit it there? Jared doesn't got it. Chad. George Warden. Chad, there you go. Chad scores again. How is all going? Getting close. This is, is nobody. Every, everybody scores pretty close, so good job. 
Keep going. What's the next one? Well, give, give him a second there. So, yes. so all the church wardens comes down. This, everybody, everybody got that one. Church warden, church warden, church warden, church warden. But the first one on our screen, and that's where we go. That's the only thing that we have to go by. Again, it's just for fun, was Chad. So he gets the point. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All okay. right. Go ahead. Based on the old Tyrolean pipes of Germany, this is what you would ask for, for if quartering one day, one today, quartering one today. Mm -hmm. Is that better correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quartering one today. I'm going to say it again. Based on the old Tyrolean pipes of Germany, this is what you would ask for if quartering one today. I got it right now. All right. You check over there because I don't, I'm delayed here. Hello, Roberto. How are you? Uh, no, no, it's not what it's saying. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. No rotation, <laughs> but DDT got it right. Oh. Cavalier. Cavalier. That, that's another shape I don't own. They're kind of strange looking. That's for sure. They're, they're, they're very strange looking pipes. <laughs> An old one. <laughs> hey, Jay, Burger Jay. Nice for you to join us here. Uh, ta Roberto says tavern pipe. All right, so keep going. Meerschaum, a German word meaning literally what? All right, what does the word Meerschaum mean? This is different from that first question or second question we asked. What does the Meerschaum mean? There we go. Oh, Briar Bruce is he in the it. house. He got it. All right. Uh, Mike, thank you for coming and joining us on this pipe trivia. No. <laughs> expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Meerschaum means expensive. Well, let me tell you, it might as well, because every time I try to look for one of the ones I like, they're always two and three hundred dollars. That's for sure. So. Well, you brought it, you know what? It's uh, one of the things that I, one of those little fun facts is the majority of Meerschaum is found in Turkey in underground caves. Fun fact. So that's probably why it's so expensive. <laughs> Mike says you just got home. Ooh, oh, that, the, the time is, is different there. What's the time there? You're, you're, uh, I know you're in Canada, but I, I forget if you're on the west or on the east side of canada so what what is your what's the time over there mike while well, we take a little break and continue here oh man i was looking at something else well we have uh, f green we have a few still left you can still get in that uh, f green you have you have a very good chance because guess what this is only chapter two of the three chapters of trivia the first one was music last week then this is pipe and then we're going to have one next week and we're gonna add up the score. So here the highest score is four. So you, you have you have plenty of chances. So just guess away. Guess away. 440. Oh, 440. Oh wow. So it is only four o'clock over there. 441. Uh -huh. Wow. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. General Douglas, Mark Arthur was known for smoking what style of pipe? Name that pipe. Name that pipe. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. A bunch, a bunch of calls. Oh, okay. I think there the first go. one is Jard Jardism. Jardism got it. Spelling does not matter here, guys. Yeah. If we know what you're trying to say, it does not matter. Because I know autocorrect may jack you up, and that's not fair. So it's okay. All right. Go ahead. I wanted to say this. This is cute. Um, I guess General Douglas MacArthur, he said this, the, the guy who loved corn cob. This is my favorite quote, quote from him is, we are not retreating. We are advancing in another direction. You know what? I'm going to say that <laughs> when I'm losing. <laughs> but I'm going to say that when I'm running away from yeah. you. I'll, I'll, I'm just I'm advancing. I'm not retreating. I'm advancing direction. that way out the door. <laughs> I thought that was cute. 
All right. All right, follow the next one. All right. Ready. We're way too fast. All right. We'll, ta we'll, oh, we'll, oh, oh. we'll take we'll take it slow here. I know there's a delay, so we'll, we'll do the best we can to kind of give you a break in between one or the other. I should have given them a little bit of information from each one. Yeah, going. you can do that. You can could, do that from now that. on. Yeah. That's okay. You can do that I, from yeah. now on. So uh, in the lead is Tom with four. Good Second job, place Tom. so far is Chad with three. And then we have a, a tie here with DDT and Johnny with two. And then Eden has two from the last trivia, so he's actually tied with them too. Okay, Robert uh, Roberto. Roberto. Do I have the MacArthur pipe? No, I probably will never have it. It, it is a big, big pipe. I mean, I, I am, you know, he liked it for a reason, but that is a big bowl. Um, it looks a little exaggerated to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll give you a nice long smoke for sure. All right, it says fast finger is not as good as a fast computer. You're right. You know, whoever has better connection has kind of a, a an advantage here. All right, but it's for fun, guys. All right, let's see. Next one. Perhaps you would find this pipe in the liquor liquor cabinet. See if you get the hint. Liquor. Roberto says he has one. Uh, Just for novelty? Novelty. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it definitely, it, it will look really neat, especially because it's really big. Oh, Mike. Mike is, is mounting a comeback. Yay! Brandy goes to Mike at Briar Blues. I'm going to, I may do a few, a few, uh, bonus questions here at the end Go for the ahead. ones no no that's okay okay Let, let's give it let's give it more time let's give it more time so oh, any, yeah, they were going to anything pass. anything any fun facts about brandy ones no it uh, this one was only um white brandy because brandy has a bowl shape like like a brandy glass and sometimes there's a simple reason for the name and yeah uh, which is because of yeah. brandy glass so for you guys that don't know yeah there's the the actual bowl of the pipe is is brandy shape Mm -hmm. I like this one. That's like more of an apple, mm -hmm. apple shape. All right, ready for the next one. Good bunch of good guesses there. Somebody said whiskey. Hey, maybe somebody comes up with a whiskey pipe. That could whiskey be. looking pipe with the glass or something. <laughs> All right, next one. Go ahead. The tool used to compress the tobacco down in the bowl is known as. Oh, this is actually not a pipe name. This is this is gonna be the, the quickest. All right, green got in the board. There, there you go. Tamper. Got it. Very good. Good job, green. I would have taken any of those other answers. <clears throat> Check Tamper, tool and all that. Everybody but very got good. It. F green. This one was uh, who was the fastest, basically. Yeah. Do well, I'm glad he got it because he he's not on the board yet, so. All of the answers are right. All those are answers are right. A wooden cigar. Yeah, that's right. This is our temper for you guys that came late. Where is it? Mark yes. from TPI Friday make these tempers. And they're, they're so cool. They're just... I know. They're like a cigar. And um, head over to TPI, Tobacco Pies International. And he's making... He's asking people if you want to send them the little... Um, how do you call these things that go around the cigar? Oh, I don't know that medallion thing. Yeah, th this actually has a, a little name. Oh. Anyway, know. he wants if you have to, you can send him so the he seal? can make, make more more tampers. He has a name. They probably they probably say it there. Your finger. I suppose it's, it's hydraulic press. <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah, they are. They're really awesome. Mark is making them. There you go. The band. You oh, see? the band. Oh. Yeah, the cigar band. So Mark is saying, send him all the bands. So he has more to make more tampers with the different bands. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that would sound really cool. All right. I like this one. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right, go ahead. Next one. This type may might be found on the top of the house. Of a house. On the top of a house. The top of a house. Hmm. Let's see who gets that, this one. 
For you that came in late, we are smoking here some 2018 Dunhill uh, early morning pipe sent to me also by Mark from TPI and we are enjoying it. Oh, they got it. Wait, wait, wait. Who got it first? Jared is on. Chad. Chimney. Chad is now tied for the lead. Ooh. Very good, Chad. Followed by Mike and Johnny and Tom and F. Frank Green and Tata Piper and Smarty Bow <laughs> said Shingle Pipe. All right. <laughs> Hey, we might come up with some good pipe oh, name God. ideas here. You, if you're a pipe maker, I this, know. just write some of this down. They, they might be pretty cool the for shingle. you to use. The that's shingle gonna be, pipe. That's going to be kind of hard to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The bands make good WWF boxing champion belts for my son's G.I. Joe's. Yes. Oh. That is a very good idea to put them as, you know, for that's the belt. True. Yes. Go fit. <laughs> That's funny to see the champion, Maduro, the champion, you know, the different names, uh, Romeo and Juliet, Roberto. He has some old Toby. Oh, Ooh, yes, that's, that's favorite. my favorite, Roberto. You're doing things right. That's good. That's some good stuff there. Yeah, it is. All right. We have, one, we have a few left and maybe a bonus one. Go ahead. All righty. This pipe maker identifies each pipe with a four digit serial number to describe its features who is the company oh i'm sure some of you know that one well that's a long so maybe they don't remember uh, this pipe maker identifies each pipe with a four digit serial number to describe its features who is the company we have cat that says rossi <laughs> Savinelli and Mike from Briar Blue says Dunhill. Dunhill. Good job, Mike. He's making a comeback. He is right there in second place. Hi, Tobacco Pipe. We're taking uh, attendance here. Mark, we were just talking about you. Yes, you, we were. Your ears must have been ringing. We show people your awesome, cool, cigar-looking tampers. Yes, thank you so much. And Lady Fire was smoking out of your pipe. She was giving it some. Go this way. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Mark. And we're smoking. I used it already. We're smoking the, the Dunhill Ernie Morning Pipe that you sent us. Thank you thank very, you so very much. much. This age definitely gives it a little bit of oomph to it. So it, it did. That, yeah. yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. With whatever I was able to smoke. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was hard. So there's Mark Tobacco Pipes International that we were talking about. All right. All right. Let's wait just a few more seconds. All right. And is this the last one you have for that one? Um, this is the last one. You better have a bonus or two. I have a bonus one after that one. Ah, oh, okay. All right. I can't part Well, I'm not going to participate. I'm not going to know it. You know too much. No, I you, you can participate if you want. No, I'm not going to. Okay. I don't go, I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> we're ve yeah, thank you, Mark. We we were we were thank ecstatic you, about I the know. pipe. I was like, did you see my eyes? I think they twinkled. I know. She really liked her pipe and <laughs> and this was just too cool. She immediately said she wanted the the, the small one. I stole she the said, small "This one. is mine." That's mine. So That's I said, "Okay, temper. I'll take the other one. That's all right." All right, last question and then a bonus one. This manufacturer operates out of the Emerald Isle. All right. This is the last one, and I, I do, I'm not it's sure it, if they still it. operate out of there, but I know they used to operate out of the Emerald Isles. Tom, smoking a 965 in a Castello National Virgin. And Frank Green got it. Awesome. Peterson. So he ended us up with two. So, so far in the lead, we have Chad and Tom with four and Mike with three. So let me do a bonus question. Maybe that breaks the tie or it doesn't matter because next week we will have the last trivia and that will determine the winner. We will add them all up. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes here to kind of clear the board. And I'm going to ask you a bonus question that... Actually, I just came up with it when you, when you mentioned one of the answers. I said, you know, this will be a nice, cool little bonus question. Awesome. All right. Are you ready? So, 
She asked a question there about that the answer was diplomat. Yeah. So who can tell me what's the difference between a diplomat pipe and a prince pipe? What's the difference between a diplomat pipe and a prince pipe? That's the bonus question. And we will end our pipe oh, trivia with that one. I, I know that one. So you know that one? Okay. I can. <laughs> I know. I, I know I read it. And we have a winner. So we end up with a four-way, well, three-way tie because Mike said, although, chat, yeah, the only difference between a diplomat and a prince shape because this those shapes are i think they're gorgeous i think they're one of the prettiest shapes i'm gonna prince. i'm gonna bring one here is that the diplomat has the oval shank and the prince has the round shank you <laughs> you you guys have <laughs> you absolute power you guys have <laughs> do you guys have any prince um of shapes or diplomat shapes any of you have any of those Ron has Prince plays guitar. I'm gonna get that because I know you're gonna have to leave well, pretty soon. Well, he me. used to. No, no, no. I already did my. Yeah, but uh, you leave pretty soon, right? All right. So this is a Prince shape right here. I'll get one. I have some more Prince shapes. But... We'll be right back, folks. So these are the shapes that we're talking about. And if the shank is more oval-like, then it's called a diplomat. And if the shank is more round-like, and these are, these both will be round-like, uh, then it's a prince. Yeah, I like that one. So, two princes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't have any diplomat, actually. Uh, maybe I will get some at the show. So anyway, uh, do you have to go? You're going to say goodbye? I, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, because I have not gotten an answer, but I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Maybe I'll see you in a little bit. Maybe not. If not, thank you so much for participating. Uh, and if we don't mind telling them about, and I think I have it here. You, you have some. Click of the week. The flick of the week. The flick oh, of the week, if you don't okay. mind. So see you guys soon. And oh, I will, probably will see you next Friday or Saturday. Well, again, I'll tune in because we will be going live from the show there. Bye-bye. So you'll, you'll see her for sure. So um, the flick of the week, we'll be doing a little bit of late to the party. Hello, big country briar. That's okay. We just went through the, through the last bit of the pipe. Some people knew the pipe trivia from another live, so it was kind of unfair to some, but that's okay. We'll pick another type of trivia for next week. See you later. Everybody saying bye to Lady Fire. All right. So next week, uh, we were going to do, um, I think, I'm pretty sure that we probably will do a uh, TV show. Name that TV show. So for you guys that are good at naming maybe old time TV shows, that will be the trivia for next week. Uh, maybe, maybe we can even up the board with those type of trivias there. So Friday and Saturday, we're gonna be at the Richmond Pipe Show. We're gonna be recording live if we can. If not, we'll record and, and post it really quick. Uh, first day, Friday's gonna be a tour of the Sutliff factory and the second day is gonna be uh, the actual you know, pipe show. And Family Matters, Colombo, yeah. Colombo is one of my favorite shows for sure. Kilte Piper Steve and Miss Kathy, how are you? Hello to both of you. Thanks for you to join us. We just did some pipe trivia. And you may like next, next Wednesday, we're going to do some old shows trivia. Gunsmoke, Bonanza. <laughs> there you go. You guys are already giving the answers, but we haven't started the trivia. That's for next week. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, 
So yeah, so we're gonna be at the show and uh, we'll try to do, of course, as many lives as we can. Are any of you going to that show? So far, I know ENA's dad is gonna be there at the show. I think um, Parsimonious Piper, although he hasn't told me, I think he's gonna be at the show. I'm hoping, uh, well, Greg, Tunnel Take, he told me he's gonna be at the show. Any of you guys going to the show? Oh man, you're gonna you're 45 minutes and you won't be able to make it. Dang, that is that's a shame. That is a shame. Oh, you're welcome, Johnny. You were the winner last time. I hope you enjoy the tobacco. But hit my hails navy. <laughs> man, I used to watch some of those shows with my dad for sure. And my um my grandfather, he liked more of the ones that were funny. Uh, but my dad liked the ones that were more military, like uh, like MASH. Uh, those were his types of shows, for sure. What were some of your favorite shows? You're probably going to date yourself if you, if you start saying the name of the shows that you like the most, for sure. And I'm, I, I wonder if it was like me, where in, in Puerto Rico, I saw the shows that everybody saw here at the States, but they were dubbed in Spanish. And so later when I saw them, you know, in English, it was so weird because the voices were completely different than what I used to hear. So it was, it was, it was very strange. Roy Rogers and Hogan's Heroes and Police Squad. All right. The A-Team. Yeah, I watched that one, the A-Team. And that one was dubbed in Spanish. So Mr. T voice was very different. Very different when it was dubbed. Scarecrow and Mrs. King. I know that one I did not see. Hey, Boris. Did you just come in, Boris? All right. Lady Fire, yeah, she just left. She has to pick up her son from work. So, Gillingham Isle. Yes, I saw a little bit of Gillingham Isle. I, I wasn't too much of a fan. Dragnet just had that awesome music at the beginning. The Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was not a fan of the Mickey Mouse Club whatsoever. MacGyver, that's one I like. I, I like how he could make something out of nothing, for sure. You had an A-Team lunchbox? <laughs> I didn't have one, but I definitely was a fan of, of, of Mr. T, for sure. Who else came in? Boris came in. Gamecock Piper. Gamecock, are you a, uh, a South Carolina Football fan. One of the best military air shows in the world is going on in Virginia Beach this weekend and kids want to go Halloween at Bush Garden. That duty wins over tasty old tins. Oh man, can't blame you. Now, I, I used to live there in, uh, in Suffolk, Virginia. And so when they had the air shows at the military base, uh, I would go to it. Is that, is that what you're referring to? Transformers and He-Man. I wasn't a fan of Transformers, but definitely He-Man. I even have a, an LP record of the He-Man music. Tom and Jerry, Abbott and Costello, who's on first, what's on second? Have only dub stuff are once for children. Oh, the only dub stuff this the once for children. Oh no, over there, they had dubbed everything. Uh, Arnold and 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 you name it. Even the movies. I remember seeing Rambo dubbed, and his voice was just not just not good for for how Rambo sounds. He was just not the same to listen to him dubbed. Oh, and ENA's dad, you may not make it. You still have strep throat. We're going to be praying for you. Oh, man. That's so sad. Well, we, I hope you get better. I hope you get better, for sure. I'll be thinking of you there. Yeah, so South Carolina is your alma mater, and so is University of Florida for me, the Gators. So that's why I root for them, whether they win or lose. You know, they're, they're my team. So Gamecock, you'll be a good one to, to tune in on, on Saturday morning so we can talk some football. Virginia Military Aviation Museum. Warbirds over the beach. Oh, wow. 
That is awesome. That is awesome. It's, so it's, it's going to be Virginia Beach, I'm thinking, right? Or more of Chesapeake Bay. I, I used to love, um, I used to love to go there through, through all the, it, it must have the most bridges and, and tunnels of, of any place I lived in. Flintstones and Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, I watched the Flintstones. For some reason, I did not watch the Beverly Hillbillies as much. But I love the Flintstones, and I watched them in Spanish. <laughs> the real McCoy, the sons of Will Sonnet. Oh, there, yeah, you are. Because I, those I did not see. Those I did not see, those shows. So, guys, for next Monday, so you know, while we keep talking about TV shows, we will be reviewing the second winner, um, Stonehaven. So, tune in Monday if you're interested in what we think about this one. Of course, I know most of you don't even need to listen. You like it, and some of you hate it. That's what we'll be reviewing uh, on Monday and see. It's going to be our first try and trying it. We'll see if we like it or not. Hello, Charlie. How are you? Green Acres. Man, I've heard of that one. I, I don't know if I've seen it. Quantum Leap. I love that one. That was so much fun to see him continue, continue, continue. Playboy After Dark Show. <laughs> no, I, that, that wasn't... That wasn't dubbed in Spanish either. I don't think I, I don't think I, I got that one in Puerto Rico. At least not when I lived there in the seventies. So, <laughs> but Quantum Leap was fun. I was reading the other day about the 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 weird ending that he had. Charlie's in the house. So Charlie, we just had some pipe trivia. You missed out. Maybe you know we're talking about next week. We probably will do. Um, Name that TV show trivia. Maybe. That's what Lady Fire wanted to do. Yeah, I agree with you, Boris. It, it is, it is, uh, it's better to see it in the original language. Even the movies, if I can, I'll see it in the original and I'll do the subtitles just because the way they express themselves, that's sometimes very hard to dub. So... Every leap might be the leap home. Yeah. And I forgot, but it's really interesting to read about how it ended. And, you know, it almost... It had, it had a good ending, but it was kind of a very deep, pro, thought-provoking ending. And now I forgot. But I was reading about it maybe a month ago. Someone posted something about it, I guess. I'm always reading all kinds of weird stuff. So, Flick of the Week, guys. Lady Fire told me to make sure I, I mentioned the Flick of the Week that she recommends for you guys to watch. This one is, I think it's on Netflix. And this week, we recommend another one of those kind of whodunit, see what the heck is going on, uh, espionage movies. And this is called Safe House. It is a movie with Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds. And... Uh, is from 2012 and it was a very very interesting movie definitely keeps you interested at the edge of your seat so if you guys haven't seen it our recommendation for this week it is safe house mash was the best ending i cannot remember the ending for MASH, but MASH definitely made my dad laugh. He loved that. I think actually I gave him as a gift the whole something, the whole series or something like that. I gave him like a big, big thing to see a bunch of episodes. Yeah, language was not important to watch in Playboy after that. I agree that. I agree with that 100%. And I, when I was in Puerto Rico, I was young, so because I left when I was 13, so if I was watching any of that, definitely it needed to be on mute for me. So I wouldn't get caught. But no, I, I couldn't get, uh, I know I couldn't get that channel for sure. At least, at least where, where I live. So guys, we're gonna, we're gonna cut it. Uh, we're gonna call it a day. I usually like to end before, you know, 
Nashville, Nafi, uh, the Nashville Mafia to give them time, so, you know, to prepare. So you guys can head over there. They usually have a good show too. And we will keep doing our thing Mondays at 7, Mondays at 8, Wednesday at, at uh, 7 p.m., and then Fridays, I mean, Saturdays, I'm doing that uh, football at 9 in the morning if you want to talk some college football, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having fun with us and joining us. And uh, we wish you the best. And again, don't miss out on the Richmond Pipe Show. We're going to try to cover it for you guys and uh, be live. And if there's a specific cover you guys want us to hone in, or something just tell, let us know you know during the live or or while we chat so that we can go there and kind of show it you guys we'll try to go ta table by table like we did last time and just have fun all right good night guys good night mark mark you you have a box coming your way soon love the football show thank you boris have a blessed day everyone and see you next time